Hey guys, thanks for watching Homesteading on the Side, and tonight for dinner, let's throw together some enchiladas. Got some supervision in the kitchen today. You say hi? Yes? Uh, hi. She's my baby daughter. She's not your daughter, she's your sister. She's my baby sister and I love her so much and I get to help mom. Yes. I'm the big sister. You are the big sister. Yep. All right, so enchiladas are one of those things that are very versatile, and you can make these however you want, add stuff, take out stuff, whatever, whatever it is that you want to do. To start, we're going to need two pounds of ground beef. Um, I have venison here. You can use any kind of meat that you like, but like I said, we always have venison on hand, so two pounds of meat. I have got a package of frozen corn, a one pound block of cheddar cheese, and I'm just going to go ahead and grate this myself. It's You get twice as much for the same price as the shredded. And it only takes just a few minutes. Just do it yourself. You get a lot more. Um, I really don't have time right now to make enchilada sauce. So I'm going to cheat. I know it's bad. I know. But kind of in a pinch. So I'm going to just follow the instructions and get that made. And then I've got black beans tortillas and you can use whole wheat if you prefer I, I like the flour so that's what I'm using um, and then a small onion and I like a lot of garlic so I'm using a pretty good amount of garlic you can use however much or little as you like I got a big tray here that I'm going to um, just butter it and then put a little enchilada sauce on the bottom just kind of keep everything from sticking a pot for the enchilada sauce and then my big skillet for frying up the meat so let's get started. So I got a little bit of vegetable oil in the pan, and we're going to go ahead. Yep, go in. And we are going to add the onions and garlic, and um, just saute them until they're soft, and it won't take long. Ooh, sorry about the steam. Just break that up. And I'm going to get the ground the venison and throw it in and brown it up. We'll be right back. So the beef is ground or browned. It's all ready to go. And if you if you we don't add fat when we grind our deer. So if you have a lot of fat in the bottom of your meat, whatever you're using, go ahead and drain it. My sauce is done. And I know it's cheating to use a packet, but you know, I have tried so many different enchilada recipes and just cannot find one that I love or that I would be willing to take the time to make every single time I need enchilada sauce. So if y'all know one, let me know. I'm still stuck with the packets. Um, my black beans here, I have rinsed them, drained them, rinsed the can, and then I just put them back in the can so I don't have a ton of bowls laying out. Um, my cheese, what I've done is cut it in half. I grated half to go inside the tortillas, and half this, this will be grated and go on top. So don't forget to season your meat. Um, when you add it in and I'm going to go ahead and add some black beans and I don't want to add a whole lot I, I want it to be mainly meat I don't want it to be mainly beans but this is how I get it to stretch without having to add more meat add black beans and then go ahead and add some corn And then I'm just going to make sure this is warm through. And we'll be right back. Alright, so it's all warm through and it's all heated up together. Make sure you season it. Add in the beans and the corn. Add some more salt and pepper just to make sure everything's seasoned good. And instead of putting the enchilada sauce individually in, I'm going to just add about a cup, maybe two, of the enchilada sauce to the meat. And that way, all I got to do is scoop it in the filling and roll it. I don't have to do have to individual some, ones. I have to get your own because I don't have any. Yes, baby, go. And uh, so that, yeah, that looks about right. You don't want it, see, there's not a whole lot of juice. You don't want it to be super thin. That It won't roll right. So you want it to be a little thick. But this looks good. All right, let me get it together, and I'll show you how I do them. Okay. So my meat's ready. See, it's all thick and come together. It's not 
loose or juicy. It's all nice, thick, and coherent. My sauce is ready. Go ahead and restir that. But that won't won't use that until it goes on the top. My big dish here, and it has been sprayed. I've got um, my tortilla laid out, and I got my um, cheese. So like I said, this is going to be super. All I do is just take a uh, some filling and put it in, and it's just however much you like. I mean, I don't I don't want to overfill them because then they won't stay together. But I don't want let me add a little more. I don't want too little because then when you go to eat them, there's no filling. So that looks good. And then just grab a little bit of cheese. And then I just roll, try and do this one handed, sorry guys, try to roll this up. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the enchilada sauce and just pour it all down in the bottom of the pan. And this will keep the tortillas from sticking. All right, that's ready. So now that this is filled, I'm going to add it just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. See you back in just a minute. All right, so they're all filled. And I don't know how, but I always have just enough meat to fill all of these and have no meat left over. I don't, I don't know how it works. I don't know. Anyway, they're filled and I have no meat left over. But I do have the um, beans and the corn left over. So don't, usually I throw that kind of stuff to our chickens, but you can make lunch with it tomorrow. So don't throw it away. I'll do a video on that too. So I've got the leftover sauce here and all I'm going to do is just pour it over the top. I know it seems like a lot, but it all absorbs into the tortillas. So what looks like a little really won't be too much. All right, that's good. So all of it's on together, and then I've got the other block, the other half of the block of cheese, and I'm just going to get all that all over the top. Don't miss a spot. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right there. There we go. All right, everybody's covered. Everybody's ready to go. So my oven's at 350 degrees, and I'm going to cook this just until the tortillas are warmed through and this cheese is all melty. Here they are, ready to go. And I'm just gonna serve it up with some sour cream and some guacamole and some cilantro rice, which I'll leave a card for it on the side. Hope you enjoy.